Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and a desire to continue to paint today and an open bottle. So I'm going to do what I often do to start, give myself a little bit of paint along my edge, just using my fingers. I'm going to use my OXO omelette turning spatula. That is looking very creamy and yellow. That's weird. Well, that's okay because we're going to use yellows and oranges anyway. I'm going to be maybe I'll use a different color white. Let's see what else I've got. Let's see if that's different. That is different. So let's just. Doesn't look that. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks different. I wonder what it'll dry like. Well, we don't really need to worry about it since it's, like I said, going to be yellows and oranges. I'm just giving myself a brief layer of paint to pull through. I'm going to use my Mead and White as a cell activator. It's just my regular pouring recipe that's under the video. Under Show More, when you open, click Show More, and it'll drop down a whole bunch of information. I'm gonna, oh, no, 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 <laughs> it almost got away. I'm gonna wipe off my spatula along the bottom. I probably don't need to worry about any of this since I'm probably gonna use an acetate card. That was weird that that paint is tainted. But like I said, I wanna scrape that off of there actually. Never seen me do that before. It's got a really weird greenish cast and it's got to go. I will take care of that in a minute. In the meantime, let's put some more of this on here so we can be sure what we get. Wipe my spatula off. And at least the canvas will be damp so the paint will cover easier. Now, hard to see white on white. I'm going to throw that. I'm going to clean my spatula off right along the top edge as best I can. And maybe my bottom edge too. So throw that in the bucket. So I don't have to think about it again. I'm going to take my Mead and White, which is not looking very open right at the moment. Probably should have, oh, and that was dirty water out of my bucket. Two of them. Wow, I'm having a moment. What do I do about that? Uh, I know. Paper towel. All right, it's not a lot, but I think it should be enough. And I could probably scrape some more out of it if I wanted to. So much for a nice even layer. <laughs> Sometimes at the end of the day, and this is my last painting, I get a little bit rushed and I should not. So I'm gonna take some orange, which is a Hobby Lobby brand and some Anita's white metallic. Nothing is coming out very easily anymore. And a little more orange that's got metallic in it. Some of this hot orchid from Color Art. Some of the stuff I call Velveeta, which has turned out to be the stuff that's flowing the most freely. Some more orange. And if I could get that. plug out of my metallic bottle, I would be very happy to get a little bit more of that into there. So I will do that even if it's not easy. I want to put black in there, but I'm afraid of what the black will do.
Did I put any yellow in there? I really didn't put much yellow in there. At least that Velveeta color is a good substitute. Look at how pretty that color combination is in my shovel. And I could just dribble some more very easily. I don't know, there may be some black in my future. I, I, don't, I just don't want to take a chance turning, because orange and yellow with black fluid acrylics usually turns a greenish color, not a color I'm looking forward to. So if I want more paint, I'll put more paint in, and those two tools are going to go away. And I have not used this Anita's White Metallic with some folk art neon pink in it. There's no purple in there and that gold is pretty dominant. I'm really surprised. That's a little more hot orchid. Now usually I would put a layer of gold around the outside edge. I'm really tempted to use some of my some of my purple flash from folk art. Or I'll just be calling this painting done. I could also put some Prussian blue in there. I think I'm going to get that's got to go. Finally, after years and years of doing this, a bottle of paint has gone sideways. All right, so my favorite tool has been this larger wedge, but I think I'm going to start. I need a scrape dish because more paint came off than I thought would. I'm not sure I have enough mead and paint in there, but I am pretty sure we're still going to have something somewhat interesting looking anyway. I'm going to put that tip down and slide it up before bringing it down again. I'm going to bring it to the edge. I'm not a big fan of light orange. I mean, I, the Velveeta color is one thing, but the pastel version is not my thing. Just sliding that so I keep my colors kind of pure. Letting marks become a lot more random. And remembering that I like the look of it when it's just grazing the surface. Not really scraping a whole lot of paint off. I still want some black in there, but I could probably do that tomorrow. Sliding it back and forth. Looks a lot like flames to me. I do like what the card does when I let the tip do what it what it wants. Kind of a loose hand. Let go of your paint card. I don't see a whole lot of the gold left. I'm not sure about this yet. I am going to keep scraping the white off so I don't start with that at least. Very curious to see what, where did that come from? Wow, there's black in there. Huh. That's different. I think the halfway stripes are pretty interesting. This might be a primary candidate for chain and it might get a bunch of black in a second if that black is still working. I 
I'm very interested to play with chain, but I think it needs a whole bunch of black for me to do that. And I could. I'm just feeling that belligerent right now. I want to try my other card. This one is not being lucky for me. I think I like wider is better. Okay, so what do you do when you don't know what to do? You put black in and you let it run. And then I'm going to take a palette knife, which isn't a bad idea, honestly. looking for some cells, but it occurs to me if I'd have used the Meaden, I would have had them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the Meaden. And the difference ought to be very discernible. I love a good excuse to get outside my comfort zone and enter a new zone, whatever that zone might happen to be. I really, really, really am desirous of some Prussian blue, which I did mention before, but I seem to have hidden on myself. So it should be right here. There it is. It's right in front of me. And the, uh, that was also the purple flash from folk art, and that sells nicely. But the Prussian blue always does. So let's go up from the bottom. I might be sorry to get rid of that white, but I might not. And I still haven't given up the thought of maybe using chain. We'll see. <laughs> I think it might be time to go back in and use a little bit of paint right out of the bottle. It is my opportunity to see if I want some yellow but I definitely don't want to use a dirty palette knife with that yellow because blue and green will always make, excuse me, blue and yellow will always make green. So I'm kind of liking this now, strangely enough. I don't think there's much some hot orchid can't fix. I think maybe a little more white. And I'll be close to being done with whatever you want to call this. I'd say abstract expressionism because it covers a myriad of 
different styles. I will be covering my edges. I think I might have gone one mark too too far, but usually a few more and I'm feeling okay, I'm over it. I still want to put Jane in there. Because <laughs> I haven't, you know? And I don't know what it'll do if I do. And I want to know if I find some. Oh look, I found some Jane. And some of it's even clean. You don't go too far, you don't make too much muck. That's one of the secrets to chain. Alright, I've used up my time. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And if you're interested in purchasing some, look for the email address underneath the link tree underneath the video. Somebody wants to go out very badly. That made it that made it a lot more interesting for me anyway. If you let your chain rest for a second, it will often deposit whatever's on it. I'm liking this. I am liking this a lot. I could put some gold in there and be pretty happy. I'm going to lose you guys in a second, I'm sure. I should tell you there's a monthly... Come on out. There's a monthly drawing, and you can see the exhibition video. The prizes... Mm, come on out. <laughs> you can see the prizes on the exhibition video. On the end screen of any video. I just set that for one too many minutes. But... I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to run out of time. I got Teespring clothing below the video. I've got an Amazon link. My link tree has all kinds of cool links on it. This is very abstract expressionist. I'm going to torch really quickly before we go. And uh, I like it. The orange isn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be as far as overpowering goes. I didn't use a lot of chain. Maiden did make a difference. If I had swiped it more, I probably would have gotten a whole lot more cells. I could probably still blow out some of those lines. So you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourself. I see canvas. I want it to go away. I'll be fixing my edges for a little while. I'm really tempted to go. Right like that. And what else? <laughs> You'll see everything you need to know in some other video. I'm so sorry to abandon you. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them. Check out my playlists. I have over 1800 videos. There we go. Fini. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you in on. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, come again. I post Friday, Saturday, and Sunday three times, a, twice a day. Wow, I'm just losing my mind lately. All right. You take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.